Hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial in which we will learn about factorial, how to compute a factorial. So, uh, to get to a factorial you need to understand its formula. The formula is like, this is the notation of factorial and an exclamation mark and then it translates into a recursive formula n factorial is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 factorial. Now factorial 0 is 1. Now to compute this uh, I have taken two variables n and fact. These are marked as unsigned long long because factorials can grow very large quickly. Now if you want uh, very large factorials you better start with the GMP arbitrary procedure library. So we take input of a number for which we want to compute factorial and if it is 0 or 1 then we determine that value of 1 as its factorial. If it is not 0 or 1 then what we do is we start the loop from 1 i is equal to 1 and till it is greater than 1 we continue the loop and we go on decrementing in, uh, the counter and then we say fact multiplied is equal to i and then we print the factorial. It is a very simple program. So, let me compile this and make factorial, okay, so it is compiled, let's compute for 2, it is 2, 3 is 6, 4 is 24, 5 is 120, 6 is 720, so now let's compute some big one, let's say 20, so you see how quickly factorial grows. Let's try to compute say 40. I'm not sure whether it will work. And now 40, I think it has not worked for 40. Let's try for 30. Okay, I don't think it has worked for 30. The reason very quickly you can figure this out is for all the 5s and zeros, numbers ending with 5s and zeros, you will have increasing number of zeros at the end. So I can very quickly deduce that it has not worked for 30. Let's try 25. No, it has not also worked for 25. Let's try 22. So, no, it has not worked for 22 also. 21? No, not even 21. 20? Yes, it works till 20. It seems 20. So 1, 0 because of uh, uh, 20, 1 because of 10, 1 because of uh, uh, 15, and 1 because of 5. So 4 zeros, it works till 20. So this is how uh, we code our factorial. And uh, that's it. It was a simple program. Uh, we have covered Fibonacci and factorial and we can also compute this using a function, uh, using recursion. So we'll see how to compute uh, factorial and Fibonacci again using recursion when we deal with the recursion in functions. Thanks for watching the video. Happy programming.